So if you could uh, tell me a little bit uh, more about uh, Ditch Carbon and what inspired you to start this company. Yeah, right. Thank you. Um, so yeah, thanks for thanks for talking to us. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ditch Carbon really helps uh, enterprises more accurately measure and more importantly reduce the carbon footprint from their suppliers. Um, we also we predominantly work with enterprises and their supply chains. We do also work with some finance institutions, helping them better understand and reduce the carbon footprint of their portfolio uh, emissions. Um, we do this by proactively capturing carbon emission data. Um, carbon emission data is out there. There's lots of it, but it's not very well organized. It's hard for these companies to sort of access it. Surveys get very bad response rates. Um, and so they're a bit stuck. If they want to know, they've got a large number of suppliers and they want to know what their carbon emissions are. It's a very sort of lengthy, painful process. We make it easy. Um, it's probably the very, the, the shortest way of introducing ditch carbon, I'd say, is that we get carbon emission data to where it can have the biggest impact. Okay. And I've noticed uh, on your website that you have an app. Uh, apart from the app, uh, do you also provide software uh, to those companies or uh, it's uh, just the app? Uh, yes, yeah, so we provide a dashboard where people can upload the companies that they're interested in and then they can track what those companies are doing to reduce their carbon footprint, what their carbon footprint is, what initiatives they're a part of, that sort of thing. Um, but we also make it available via API. In fact, most of our business is uh, API business, as it were. So we integrate with the leading procurement technology providers to um, enable their customers to incorporate sustainability metrics into their procurement decision making. So basically, anytime somebody in procurement in one of these large organizations is making a decision about a supplier or a purchase or whatever, uh, they can see the carbon impact of that. And that's a very powerful way of um, changing behaviors within uh, large organizations. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And how has the company evolved uh, since its inception? So we originally started out as a carbon accounting firm uh, for companies. So we used to help companies measure their entire carbon footprint. But we quickly realized that it's a relatively commoditized space, just, just calculating carbon footprints. It's not a complicated thing to do, especially scope one and two. Um, and we realized that the companies that had real impetus to do something about climate were actually the larger ones because they were more heavily regulated. So we found an opportunity there to help customers with the trickiest bit of carbon accounting for the people that are doing it the most. So large companies with large supply chains. And for this uh, carbon accounting you mentioned at the very uh, beginning of the company, did you also come uh, came up with your own in-house built uh, software? Uh, we did. We did. A, we did an MVP of it. Um, yeah, uh, and it worked. A few people bought it, but it just wasn't the the direction that we went in. Right now, we focus just on providing carbon emission data, um, predominantly to procurement people, predominantly through uh, procurement platforms. We do also provide data directly to enterprises, uh, and sometimes they use it for um, calculating emissions. But the, our main business is around optimization. Okay, so to be honest, you've already answered my next uh, question. It was what uh, specific services does Ditch Carbon offer to help companies reduce their also uh, carbon footprint and how to measure it? So as I understand, it evolved from accounting, uh, carbon accounting software into the app. And then uh, at the moment, everything is done through the app, which is available for purchase uh, for companies. And uh, regarding the app, uh, is it only for small and medium enterprises or also larger corporations can use it? It's pretty much only for ent for large enterprises. We don't have any small customers. We don't target smaller customers. They don't tend to have complicated enough supply chains for it to be worth using our software. If you've only got excuse me, a couple of thousand suppliers, you don't need our software. If you've got 10,000 suppliers, or 100,000 suppliers, or in one case, 400,000 suppliers, mm -hmm. then you really need this sort of software. Um, so yeah, that's where we tend to focus, large companies. And we provide <clears throat> emissions data on the company and emissions data on the products that it sells where appropriate. 
Uh, does it uh, still happen that you have uh, maybe not small but medium uh, sized uh, enterprises using your services or it's just uh, larger enterprises? Yeah, I mean, I would be, depends what you define as medium, but I mean, it's, 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 I don't think we've got anyone in our pipeline or anyone, um, no direct customers under 100 million turnover, I'd say. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, so could you share uh, some success stories or at least one success story with one of those uh, large enterprises? Maybe one of the biggest players. Yeah, so I mean, we can't name them, but the, um, can we? I don't know. They're a very large British pharmaceutical company with a three letter acronym. Okay. And so they use our, they use our, um, they, the problem that they had was having a central source for all of this data. They were getting bits from ESG surveys, bits from CDP, that sort of thing. And what they really needed was one place where they could track all of the carbon footprints of all of their suppliers. Um, and that's what they used Ditch Carbon for. And so before they were dealing with spreadsheets, um, very painful sort of process for them. And uh, yes, yeah, so now they use Ditch Carbon. It's 15 people that log into it very regularly to sort of track, you know, how their suppliers are performing and what their current sort of predicted emissions are for the year and that sort of thing. Um, and they use that for everything. So that's a pretty good accessory. Another one that we can mention is Archivio, which is a UK PLC. They do smart meters. Um, again, they were sort of, they built this very complicated, powerful sort of spreadsheet to work out what emission factor mm -hmm. to use for each supplier. Um, and that's part of what our software does. And so now they just log in, upload a list of suppliers and they get their scope for calculations out the other end. No messing. So long story short, it was uh, way more uh, productive and uh, cheaper for them to use uh, and outsource uh, accounting to your company to measure a uh, carbon footprint rather than having their own team uh, doing it for them i guess so yeah yeah perfect and now a, a little bit a cheesy question but if you could uh, tell me what was uh, the most rewarding aspect of your journey with uh, ditch carbon Say that again, sorry, what's the, what's, I, I missed the middle, but I heard the cheesy question. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, you... so the cheesy question is, uh, what was uh, the most rewarding uh, aspect of your journey with uh, Ditch Carbon for you as their co-founder? Yeah, I think it's just, um, you know, having, having an idea of trying to collect carbon emission data at scale and then seeing and being able to see the technology now doing that fully automatically. So you can give us a list of 100,000 companies and a few hours later, you'll know exactly what the carbon footprint is of those particular companies. You'll know which of them have signed up to CDP or SBTI. You'll know where they're based. You'll know um, whether their emissions are going up or going down, what their score is, all sorts of things. And that's pretty cool tech. Um, oh, and you're going to show that to customers is, is, um, is quite rewarding in of itself, yeah. And uh, what is the um, uh, onboarding uh, period? So, for example, let's assume that you have a customer, they will decide on using uh, your uh, service app. Uh, does it take uh, days or weeks for them to receive the first data? A couple of weeks at the most, I would say. Okay. And on your website, uh, under pricing, uh, we have uh, three different uh, options, trial, web, uh, app access and enterprise. Uh, for mm. the trial run, is it possible for anyone, even uh, for our company, to try it for free, play around with the no. software? Yeah, yeah, you can play. Anyone can tr can tr can get access to our demo dashboard totally for free and have a good play. Um, uh, our prices start at around twelve thousand euro a year for uh, two thousand suppliers or more. Basically, um, that's sort of our starting pricing. If you're a paying customer. We also have packages for um, API users and partnership users, which is slightly different, but that's the sort of, um, yeah, okay. sort of range. Because web access is uh, for uh, 500 pounds, British pounds. So I understand that uh, it doesn't even depend on the company size or the number of suppliers. It's uh, just access to the app and uh, whether the company has 1,000 suppliers or 10 suppliers, it will be the same price. No, that's not right. So that is actually for API access partners. That's not oh, for 
Okay. Um, so that you don't you don't actually get any access. You don't get any records for that price. For that price, you get access to the APIs and our support and that sort of thing. And then you pay for um, companies that you want data on on top of that. Okay, right. I get it. And obviously, uh, the most advanced enterprise uh, package that will depend on the company size and number of suppliers, and that's how you determine the price. Exactly. Perfect. So thank you so much. <laughs> As I said, it was a, a brief interview. Uh, is there anything you would like to share with us? Any ending comments? No, no I think that's good. I mean, it's good, it's good to have the conversation. Um, hopefully that's useful. Um, happy to talk again anytime you find. Yeah. You want to find out more, I suppose. We hope it will be also useful for our readers and uh, people who check uh, the website.